Hi Grade 6, this is your video on the last section, the Errors and Improvements section. Um, we need to be looking back over our previous work to identify this. Um, but in your evaluation of the method, you probably identified some errors, like how you, count, how you measured um, uh, size of parachute, right? And you said that that wasn't great and that you measured side A and B and then you multiplied them. Um, but that doesn't account for like funny shaped parachutes or not neat or stuff like that, okay? What you have to then do in this section, so under error, you write in the first box one of the things that was wrong with your method. And in improvement, you try and suggest how you might improve that. So maybe you'd make sure that your parachutes are perfect squares or rectangles by checking that they're right angles at the corners and that they are straight lines, yeah? That might be how you decide to improve it. So you come up with a sensible suggestion to improve it and you describe that in the improvement bit. Then you comment, the last bit, is you comment on how would this affect the results, okay? Well, if the area is measured incorrectly, then our pattern isn't necessarily a perfect correlation on our graph. If we could improve the measurement of area, we could improve the reliability of our results. So you comment on something like, by getting better measurements of area, then this allows us to plot a graph more accurately and therefore get better results for our uh, thing. And then that's what you do for your errors. And you come up with as many as you can. So like things like measuring the height, the three metre height, that was an error. How could we improve the way we measured it? How would that affect the results? Um, your timing, was that good or bad? Um, how you made your parachute, how you released your parachute. Um, all things to comment on in, area, in errors and then give a suggestion of how you could improve it. Maybe some clever timing device for the time that like is electronic rather than a person. Then extensions are like, what extra bits would you do? So in the evaluation of the hypothesis, you, um, you talk about weaknesses of the hypothesis, how it's limited to like, it's only limited to three meters. So maybe you'd want to test it now over one meter, two meter, four meter, and five meter, and expand that range. Maybe you want another extension might be, so this would be to increase range of the independent variable. Yeah, the size of parachute. No, hang on, this was a control variable, wouldn't it? Control variable, uh, height of drop. You might increase the number of the areas. You did small, medium and large. Maybe you'd want to have different areas, much larger and much smaller. Yeah? Maybe you want to try it with a different weight. So that would be another one. Maybe you want to try it with a different weight hanging off it. These are just simple bullet point suggestions of other studies you could do. Um, yeah, and just describe them very briefly so I know what you mean. That's errors improvements. That's quite a quick section, to be honest. The hard bit is thinking of the errors to suggest and thinking of the extensions. There's a lot of thinking involved in this one.